And here we go again, another review so soon. Before I get into this one, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been watching my video so far. You all have been showing me a ton of support and I really appreciate it a ton. I want to also thank Josh for letting me post on his channel. Even though I could just post on mine. Yeah, but that's not as fun, right guys? Right? Anyway, Vivo. This movie was previewed a couple months ago when a short teaser was released. The plot was unknown at first, but it showed an old Cuban man who puts on musical performances in time with a Pikachu. Ah crap, I met Kinkajou. Who is voiced by... Lin-Manuel Miranda. I was already intrigued to see where they would go with this, so flash forward two months with barely any advertising. Nice one, Netflix, just like with Wish Dragon. It finally released yesterday. I know a proper trailer was posted prior to its release, but I ignored it since I wanted to go into it blind. Let's get into the story. Spoilers incoming. Vivo is a Pikachu, sorry, Kinkajou, who lives with Andres, a man who lives and thrives off music. He receives a letter from his old friend Marta, a famous musician from Miami that's about to retire and is putting on one more concert for her fans. He explains to Vivo that he actually was in love with her, but he never got the chance to confess to her how he really feels. He wrote a song for her as well, which he keeps in a box. Vivo is hesitant on suddenly leaving Cuba behind just for him to sing the song to her, but realizes that this importance of one song can make is very special, and this is how he and Andres actually met. Agreeing to go, he wakes up the next morning to find a terrible sight. Andres has passed away in his sleep due to old age. Now with the music sheet in his possession, he hitches a ride to Florida when Andres' niece and her daughter come by to pay respects. Her daughter named Gabby is very eccentric, energetic, but also prefers to be alone and to do her own thing, and not be like the other girls. After realizing what Vivo is setting out to do, the two go on an adventure over to Marta's final show to deliver the music sheet to her so that she could sing it in memory of Andres, while of course going through some wild antics along the way. So, that's the story. Pretty simple, honestly, and that's what got me a bit hesitant while watching it. I really loved the setting, the build-up, and the first two songs were very good. Lin does a pretty good job as the voice role as well, and with him writing the songs, it makes it even better. As for the look of the movie, the animation is well done, but the designs of the humans admittedly took some time to get used to. It's definitely a unique style that I haven't seen before, and at times, it looks a bit wonky, but as the movie went on, I got used to it. The songs are pretty good although a bit short, but each one has really good visuals to complement them. However, as soon as Gabby was introduced and it became a fish out of the water scenario for a bit, I was already listing off all of the possible things that could happen. It ended up becoming a buddy comedy movie, where a duo has to travel from point A to point B while learning to get along or something. Other cliches I was listing in my head was, oh boy, there's gonna be an argument scene and they're gonna break up, or what? They're gonna travel all this way to Marta only for her to be evil or something and she's actually really mean and cruel underneath her friendly face. But guess what? I was wrong. This movie doesn't do those cliches. Thank you! While it does have the body comedy trope at first, they do get separated at a certain point during a rainforest storm. Vivo has to connect with a pair of rosette spoonbills and dealing with a giant python snake. Whereas Gabby deals with her Girl Scout group going after her, since the leader is very forward with following the rules. And part of those rules is looking after animal safety. She believes that Vivo is in danger being out of his habitat, and doesn't trust Gabby with him. I feel like they sometimes distract from the actual plot, basically just to have some sort of antagonist in the story, but it still comes together well enough. Gabby gets her hyper personality from her late father, which is another reason why she's helping Vivo, because she relates with her uncle Andres she never got to tell her father that she loves him one more time. The music sheet unfortunately becomes destroyed, but with Gabby being so into music, already memorizing the lyrics after reading it over a bunch of times, and being a side musician with Andres, Vivo is able to read music and keep the melody in his head, so they remake it from scratch, which I thought was great. When they do make it to Martha, again, I was expecting her to be mean or cruel or something, just for the movie to have a epic climax. But no, she cries over Andres, accepts the music sheet, and actually performs it in the concert. It also concludes with a small 2D animated segment, where Vivo can visualize within the music of Andres and Martha dancing and saying goodbye one last time. The way it all comes together, honestly, got me a bit teary-eyed, which I wasn't expecting. It's all so heartfelt. Now, I don't know how she got her backup crew to do harmonizing vocals and instruments ready that quickly for a song she received last minute, but hey, I'm just nitpicking. The song is sung wonderfully as a great tribute to him. And of course, Vivo lives his new life with Gabby, performing once again for the people of Florida. Great stuff. 
So, I will admit that when Vivo gets to Florida, the movie slows down just a tad bit for me, and there was a few hiccups in the story here and there, but I can't deny that I had a great time watching it throughout. And again, everything comes together very well in the end. I really, really recommend this movie, guys. Please check it out because it definitely deserves recognition. I'm giving Vivo a light 8 out of 10. So, that's another review down. I'm really getting the hang of making these videos, and looks like I'm tackling another series next. Centaur World. Let's see how I'll end up liking it. I'll see you guys next week. Or will I see you guys soon? We'll see.